Hello! In this video, I'll be looking at using Scrivener for transcription. As we can bring audio files into Scrivener, we can actually use the application to transcribe interviews. As you can see, we have a blank document here in the binder, which I am going to use for the transcription. In the research area of the binder, I have already imported a sound file, which is a podcast. I can play this inside of Scrivener. Scrivener. S-C-R-I-V-N-E-R yes. is a really, really cool, it's only $40. I absolutely love it. And you know, wow. for any of our, our writers and, and creators out there, um, I would just urge you to check it out. So that's my little, my little Mac computer tip for the day. And you can find me at daisywhitney.com. Thank you, Daisy. Anyway, uh, back to transcriptions. What I need to do is split the editor like so. This opens the sound file in both editors. I can then simply drag the transcription document down into the header bar of my preferred editor window. I could have clicked in the editor and just selected the document in the binder to open it in the editor with the focus, but dragging to the header is just sometimes quicker. I have got sound file controls in the editor, but I can also go to View, QuickTime to familiarize myself with the keyboard shortcuts for Scrivener. The media player within Scrivener is powered by the QuickTime engine. These keyboard shortcuts become very useful when transcribing, as the cool thing with Scrivener is that the editor pane containing the audio file does not need to have focus for the media shortcuts to work. Whilst I'm typing in the bottom view, I can hit Command Enter to pause the audio file. Pressing the same key combination will restart audio playback. Is being better about you can even step the audio or media file forwards by using shift opt command right bracket or step backwards by using shift opt command left bracket tragic news from the north pole as santa claus succumbed to multiple strains of the h1n1 News from the North Pole as Santa Claus succumbed to multiple strains of the H1N1 flu virus contracted this week while visiting every house in the world within the course of a 24-hour period. Santa's workshop. Note that you don't necessarily have to import an audio file into a project if you'd rather keep it separate. Here I have an audio file in the Finder which I would like to transcribe without importing into my Scrivener project. All I need to do is drag it directly from the finder onto the editor header bar. This will temporarily open supported file types such as sound files in Scrivener without importing them. I can now transcribe this file in Welcome the same way I did the imported sound file. The only difference is that when I select a different like document in this editor pane, I cannot return to this file as it was not imported, so I would have to drag it back in from the finder again. To avoid doing that accidentally whilst working on it, you could lock the editor by clicking on the icon in the header bar and selecting Lock in Place. Note how the header bar turns pink to indicate the editor is locked. Now selections in the binder have no effect on this editor until I unlock it in the same way. Scrivener 2.0 will be adding to the control of media files and will make stepping back and forward much more fluid, but that is the functionality that we have for now. That concludes our tutorial video on using Scrivener for transcription. Goodbye.